no Ro Romo or Dez. W when do you think those two guys can come back for Dallas, Ian? Well, uh, you know, Romo's still got a couple more weeks. He's going to start practicing this coming week, and then he'll have two more weeks, and then he'll be activated. And, you know, when he's back, the expectation is he'll really be back. Dez is more of a curiosity. I, I'm, I'm Obviously, we're hearing a lot of optimism from Dallas about whether or not he's going to play. We were hearing the same thing last week before he was declared out. Um, he, I know he's practicing. I know he's very happy about it, but he still hasn't done the full workload of things he needs to do to show he's healthy. He still has pain in his foot. They're going to give him a little special shoe with padding. It's going to look like a pillow, I'm sure. But, you know, this is also a training staff that's very prudent. And so I know all the football people want to make sure he's on the field. I know the training staff wants to make sure he doesn't re-injure it. A lot of people pulling Des Bryant in different directions. And, of course, he wants to play like crazy. But mm. very complicated situation there, just about his availability for this week. And was the mention by Stephen and Jerry Jones that Greg Hardy is up in line for a long-term contract, was that part of the whole circling the wagons and backing his play or the rest of everybody's play that this was a spirited player uh, in the wrong place at the wrong time, showing his spirit on the sideline last week? Uh, or or they, do they truly, truly intend to give him a long-term contract, Ian? Well, the Cowboys, as you know, are some of the best businessmen, pure businessmen in the NFL. So what they did was they saw a situation. Hardy's a great player. I don't think there's any you know, debate about that. I mean, we saw what he did to Tom Brady the first week after calling him out publicly. Um, they see a situation where they can get a great player at a great deal. They, they can sign him up to a long-term deal with not a lot guaranteed. They can make him earn it on the field. They can get one of the best pass rushers in the NFL at a very reasonable figure without a lot of risk. For a lot of teams, they'd shy away from the negative publicity. We know the Cowboys don't care. So it's actually, I hate to say this, but it's actually a really good business opportunity, and they seized on it in public right away. And so why don't you think the Cowboys care, Ian? Why don't you think they care about the, what, what's being said of them or about them and the, the optics of it all? Why? Well, you know, because this is what Jerry Jones has done. He has built this brand to be bulletproof, which it is. Um, you know, they've gone through so much just as an organization while winning, and they've, they've shown in the past that you can have guys do bad things off the field and still come through on the field and still be the best brand in the NFL and still have the best stadium and so many things that they, I just don't think they care about what we say as long as we're having this conversation publicly, which just like we are right now. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience.